Begin with fresh or thawed peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs. Adjust the concentration of CD3 target cells. Retain 50 microliters in a separate tube for the calculation of recovery later. Prepare and wash Gibco CTS Dynabeads CD3, CD28, per their specific instructions, in an amount of three beads for each CD3 target cell. Prepare a gas permeable cell culture bag. This is the cell isolation bag, or bag one. Aseptically add the PBMCs to bag one. Aseptically add the required volume of washed CTS Dynabeads CD3, CD28, to bag 1. Incubate bag 1 on the platform of a shaker for 30 minutes at room temperature to gently mix PBMCs and beads. CTS Dynabeads CD3, CD28 specifically bind T-cells that express CD3 and CD28 on the cell surface. Cells that do not express these markers will remain unbound in solution. Prepare a second bag, bag 2, filled with a wash buffer of DPBS or medium containing 1% HSA. Prepare a third bag, bag 3, with appropriate complete cell culture media, including your chosen growth factors, such as IL-2. Connect the three bags aseptically by tube welds or spike connectors. Install bag 2 on the solution pole of the Gibco CTS Dynamag magnet. Add wash buffer from bag 2 to bag 1. Set the primary magnet operating angle to minus 15 degrees and install bag 1. Extend the retractable plate and install bag 2. Install bag 3 on the solution pole with the clamp closed. Set the primary magnet operating angle to 0 degrees and capture the bead-bound cells with the primary magnet for one to two minutes. Once bag one is placed onto the CTS Dynamag magnet, T-cells bound to the CTS Dynabeads CD3, CD28 magnetic beads are pulled towards the magnet and are immobilized. Unbound cells can be removed to leave pure, viable, and functional T-cells behind. Set the primary magnet operating angle to 60 degrees and drain the unbound cells from bag one into the now empty bag two. Remove 50 microliters from the unbound cells in bag 2 to a separate tube for the calculation of isolation efficiency later. Remove bag 1 from the primary magnet. Add media from bag 3 to the Dynabeads CD3, CD28 bound cells in bag 1. Seal off bag 1. Perform static cell culture in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius to activate and expand the T-cells. The combination of CD3 and CD28 antibodies on CTS Dynabeads magnetic beads provides both the primary and co-stimulatory signals that are required for optimal activation and expansion of T-cells. Activated T-cells will undergo clonal expansion to yield large amounts of cells and naturally detach from the CTS Dynabeads CD3, CD28 beads within four to five days. The beads can be removed efficiently with the CTS Dynamag magnet after these days in culture. Compare samples using flow cytometry to determine CD3 cell isolation efficiency. Please refer to the user guide for detailed instructions. Contact your sales representative or get more information at thermofisher.com slash immunotherapy.